Can start over again. Are you filming? Will, don't stop filming. He wants to film, okay? <laughs> And what so were you saying? people are looking at the past and they're not looking at the future. They're not thinking about the fact that I believe that Scott York has the right ideas and program for the future. The fact of the matter is, is that Scott York has never really not been a Republican. Some of us who were working on the McCain campaign in 2008, in the waning days of that campaign, we knew that we had a feeling in the back of our mind, even though we were working our tails off for John McCain and Sarah Palin. He wasn't going to win the election. He might have lost Loudoun County. We, we could feel it going door to door. We, we had this, this feeling. But yet at the Palin rally, Mr. York stood up there to support John McCain. He did it. And he supported Frank Wolf. He supported Bob McDonald. And he supported other Republican candidates. And I'm very pleased to have your support, sir. I really am. And, uh, again, I'm also supporting Mike Chapman for sheriff. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you will support him at the convention if we have time. And uh, again, the issues in this election is not the past. It's how we're going to protect Loudoun's future, how we're going to maintain quality schools, how we're going to bring in commercial development like we've done in the town of Leesburg. This has been one of my this has been one of my fortes as, as a council member, is to deregulate, to streamline the process. Folks in the development community, Pat and Travis here will tell you that Leesburg is now an easier place to deal with than, than the county. We've got to change that. The county is the tail wagon. Dog, not the town of Leesburg. So this is what I'm running on. The chairman's running on this, and I want you all after you hear his speech to dive into that case because we have to make <laughs> <laughs> if you have made a donation. Please make one if you want to do the chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. I certainly appreciate uh, having your endorsement and, uh, and and grateful that. opportunity to also introduce uh, Gary Higgins, who is running for the Hopkins seat, and also want to <laughs> and introduce uh, Bob Wirtz, who is, who is here. And, uh, uh, Roger Zern, who uh, collects all the money. This guy tells us how much we have. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Patricia Phillips also. Uh, yes, Patricia Phillips is here who is running uh, for, for Senate, and she is down in my area, and I fully support her. And, and even if you're not in her district, um, help her and support her by offering a few funds to stew with all the Republican candidates. I am uh, uh, grateful that all of you have come out here to support uh, Kim. We have a very unique opportunity as we go forward. Um, into the convention, from the convention into November. The issues uh, for, for me, and I believe uh, Ken shares 100%, is one, working to ensure that this board is, uh, the next board is doing what we can to lower taxes, one, by working for commercial development and expand the opportunities for um, Loudoun County. Loudoun has been blessed in the last uh, 10 years with 53,000 uh, new jobs, and we're actually forecasted from 2011 into 2015 to be the number one job growth community in the nation. But it's not going to happen. Absolutely. <laughs> How important that is. But it doesn't help when we have board members that sit on a board of supervisors and just disparage the business community, men and women, who work so hard for free to give us on advice on what we should do as a board of supervisors to help promote business within Loudoun County. Um, we also want to work together. We support um, education. However, we're not of the philosophy that we need to spend all the money, that all the money isn't going to buy you good education. If that were the case, Washington, D.C. would be cleaning everybody's clock because they spend more per child. That doesn't work. We need, we need sensible uh, uh, 
folks that are on the board of super, uh, the school board work with them, and hopefully they will do what they need to do to support to support us, where we're providing quality education, but we're doing it at an affordable rate for the citizens of Loudoun County. The other thing that uh, Ken and I have uh, actually worked on together in respect is, is transportation. I've had the opportunity to successfully work with the McDonald's uh, uh, administration um, and now sending about $110 million to Loudoun County for the interchange of 659 and Route 7 and the Sickland flyover on 15 um, bypass and comes to supporting us on, on that push. But more importantly, what Ken has done uh, to help me out is finding on the issue that we're dealing with now with the Washington, or the Metropolitan Washington Airports Authority on this um, goofiness and the insistence that we need to continue to push to underground the station at the airport, which is gonna cost us about $330 more million dollars when toll rates are going to be approaching around $10.75 in 2020 in order to pay for that and other cost overruns. When I had to go before the Northern Virginia Regional Commission to get their support on what both Fairfax and Loudoun County um, is supporting, which is the aerial station at, um, at the airport, Ken was right there to push for that and to help support the resolution that I put forward, so I thank you for helping me with that. Thank you, actually. With, with Ken. Ken will help us on creating that business friendly environment, an environment where all people, not just some people, but all people will feel that they can approach their board of supervisors and not be disparaged for their point of view on any given um, topic. The other, the other thing that this election is about is not just about us and the work we'll do on the board in January, um, but it is also setting up going into November with a uni unified ticket so that we make sure we get good men and women down at the state level that we can take control back in the Senate. So we'll have a Republican Senate working with a Republican House, working with a Republican governor's office to actually get some other good things doing. We've got a good governor, but he needs the support in the Senate. And that's why we need to go into November and support uh, great folks. Uh, like Patricia Phillips and others. The other thing is that it's not just about the election in November, it's not just about what Ken and I are going to do with our fellow Republicans on the Board of Supervisors, but it's about 2012. Now, I don't know how you all feel, but I certainly don't like Mike President. <laughs> he may be a great guy, um, but he's not a good president. <laughs> and, and we need to make sure that not only do we get um, a new president when the time comes, but we need to make sure that the next senator in Virginia is a Republican and not a Democrat. And I can tell you right now, whether you're a Democrat, Independent, or Republican, there is not a single person who should support Kane if he is the actual one to get the nomination from the Democratic Party because of what he did to Northern Virginia when he left office yeah. by screwing us, trying to screw us in his budget, taking out the education funds yeah. that were to come to us. And I'm, I'm just I'm very livid about that. And the other thing is, is he is the one that set up the rotten deal we are right. in now with. with yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And that was irresponsible the way that he exactly. did it. So I look forward to working with the Republican team going into 2012 um, to take care of the future of Virginia. Again, please help Ken Reed. Oh, get out there, talk them up uh, with your neighbors, get the bumper stickers on the, well actually I call them window stickers now, because I stick them on the window, not on my bumper. The reason you have problems with cars is magnetic, and not many are built out of metal. <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, most importantly, the lifeblood of a campaign is funds. Whether it's $10, $20, $100, $1,000, $2,000, uh, dollars, 
the campaign needs funds to be able to get their word out, to be able to print flyers, to put those flyers on door to door, to do mailing. And postage is very expensive, and Kim needs your help on that. Uh, let me just conclude again by thanking all of you to come out and to support Kim. And uh, Kim, thank you for allowing me to say a few words this evening, and I look forward to working with you to a successful victory in November and to a successful Board of Supervisors starting in 2012. Thank you. Thank you.